Hi, I'm David Reeves, a Senior Solution Engineer with Esri's Architecture, Engineering, and Construction team. Today, we're going to learn how Autodesk users inside of AutoCAD and Civil 3D are going to access the GIS data we've shared with them through ArcGIS Online and ArcGIS Enterprise. In a previous video, we prepared some hosted feature services inside of a web map and shared it to a group of CAD users. These web layers of points, lines, and polygons can be stored in either ArcGIS Online or ArcGIS Enterprise. For an in-depth look, ArcGIS Enterprise users can also bring in imagery from drone flights and even elevation services created from common digital elevation models. Everyone can access publicly shared data from cities, counties, government agencies, or any ArcGIS user but those with an ArcGIS license also get access to the living outs of the world, Esri's collection of curated authoritative content from trusted sources. ArcGIS for AutoCAD is an application from Esri that plugs into AutoCAD and Civil 3D. It was first introduced in 2007 and allows you to interact with and edit ArcGIS web layers using standard AutoCAD and it even allows you to create and share ArcGIS data within a standard DWG file. The newest release includes a tighter integration with ArcGIS Online and Enterprise Portal and allows you to search for content in your organization or the greater web community. This release adds support for hosted feature layers, attribute attachments, and URL hotlinks. The next release of ArcGIS for AutoCAD is currently in development and due this fall. It includes industry-specific data templates for creating CAD and GS content, including ArcGIS Indoors. It also introduces an even tighter integration with Esri field maps, including an ArcGIS for AutoCAD initiated field data collection workflow using ArcGIS field maps. You can download ArcGIS for AutoCAD from Esri.com and add a ribbon to your standard AutoCAD interface where you can manage the coordinate system of your drawing or browse data sets. These can be for your own organization or any publicly shared uh, feature layers, map layers, or imagery layers. They're added to your drawing, giving you context and assistance in updating your JS data. You can create AutoCAD features that are compatible with ArcGIS Pro, our desktop software, but you're also able to update the attributes and the geometries of your GIS data inside of AutoCAD. Here, I'm updating a date field and some attributes and taking advantage of drop-down lists or domains to ensure accurate updates. The Autodesk connector for ArcGIS is built into Civil 3D, InfoWorks, and AutoCAD Map 3D. It also allows you to bring in points, lines, and polygons and imagery layers stored in ArcGIS Online or ArcGIS Enterprise. It excels at helping you generate existing conditions on a project site. And it also includes the abilities to make edits to GIS data and save it back to ArcGIS Online. Some additional tools include the ability to publish Civil 3D objects to a file geodatabase. To use GIS data from the Autodesk connector for ArcGIS, the first thing I'll need to do is update the drawing settings. I'll need to make sure that I've got a coordinate system set. Once I've done that, <clears throat> I can Go to the Insert tab and launch the Autodesk connector for ArcGIS and manage my GIS layers. When I click on the button, I'll get the option to sign in to my ArcGIS Online or my ArcGIS Enterprise accounts. You're able to access it as a guest, but you have a better experience if you sign in with one of your accounts. Now first, I'll navigate to my project location and I'll use one of these three buttons to define the my search area. Some public layers appear, but I'll be interested in browsing layers and maps from my organization. I can choose the web map and see all the layers inside of it. I can visualize any underground utilities and choose to add them as feature lines, gravity pipes, uh, alignments, or cocoa points. For ArcGIS Enterprise users, you also have the ability to bring in drone flights as image services. Once I've chosen all my layers, I'll choose to add them to my design project. 
These layers get downloaded from ArcGIS and added to my drawing. Now that they're in there, I've got more context about my construction site and can now apply my CAD symbology to these GIS layers. To manage them, the data source manager allows me to remove them or take advantage of the save back functionality after making some edits.